Welcome back, everybody. As you know, Hallmark is dedicated to helping every pet find their person and every person find their pet. Mm -hmm. And here today with an emotional reunion for two American heroes is our hero, our pet expert, <laughs> our pet rescue expert, Larissa Wall. Welcome. Larissa. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's a very big title. I don't know if I'd go that far, but... Um, You're our pet rescue hero. It's thank true, you. Larissa. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, as you said, Hallmark is very dedicated to this. You know, we do the daily adoptions, which is amazing, but they really are going above and beyond, and they want to reunite military dogs with their former handlers, which is such an important aspect of rescue that a lot of people don't think about. Yeah. Wasn't there a time when the... The military dogs that were working dogs were not allowed to be adopted? Yes. This part that makes me want to cry. I, me too. Prior to 2000, actually, dogs that were military working dogs were looked at as surplus equipment, oh. basically. So when the handlers left, when they were done with their, or, and when the dogs were done with their duty and did their years of work, they really had, had no purpose. Yeah. And so in, before 2000, when they were done, they were kind of done. Yeah. And now that all changed and former handlers can actually oh. ha adopt the dogs. So, so those, And those reunions are remarkable, very yeah. special. In fact, one just happened in Arizona. It was between Air Force Sergeant Amanda Cubbage and her retiring explosive detection dog, Rick. Take a look at this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you can just hear. Yeah, and you know, sorry. I didn't, Go ahead. No, I was going to say, I, I didn't mention that American Humane and Hormel Foods and Hallmark Channel all together have not only done that reunion, they've done 33 in total mm. now oh here on U.S. Soil. So, I yeah, love to hear that. And, yeah, it's, it's very amazing, and I think we had a few photos uh, to show of a few other reunions that, that went on. Happened. This is so Emra and true. Adam, and you can just see the emotion in his eyes there. Pretty amazing, and there were a couple others. And those who have that... served this country so well are, yes. are having very real moments with these reunions. Yes, look, occur. you can just see. And those animals are heroes. Yeah. Oh, they are, and they work. They gave just like oh. just like the men and women who served this country. These animals have served our country as well. And joining us actually right now is Amanda Cubbage and her uh, de bomb detection dog, Rick. Are you Hi, there, Amanda? Hi, Amanda. We are. How are you? Oh, good, look good. at Amanda and Rick. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, Amanda, you and Rick were, you really were partners. You were together every single day in South Korea. And then when yes. it was, when your time was up and you had to go back to Arizona, you had to leave Rick behind. And we just saw that, what a beautiful emotional reunion that was. And we could feel it, it was palpable for us. What was that like for you in that moment? It, it was very emotional. Um, I thought it was going to take me a second to recognize as to kind of what the thought process was. And having him back, it was amazing. Uh, as soon as I gave him, gave him that whistle, he just sat there and he came straight to me. And it was, we picked up right where we left off. Well, he is retired now, so he gets to lie around <laughs> on furniture these days, something he wasn't he used does. to doing. <laughs> Um, Not really. Yeah. He's still trying to get used to it. Really? Um, even right now, he's not 100% comfortable with it. Right. But trying to keep him coaxed up here is working out pretty Does well he right still want to work? He probably still wants to work. He does. Every day when I put my uniform on is he tries to beat me to the front door, <laughs> sit by his leash, and he's like, okay, mommy, let's go. Let's go to work. Oh, sure. Yeah. But so you know... It's, it's, it's hard telling him, no, buddy, you're, you're done, you're retired. You're <laughs> I have to go to work now, not you. It's hard yeah. telling anybody they're retired. Yeah, right? so when Pretty you, much. Uh, uh, Amanda, when you left and went to South Korea, you left your husband behind, you left family, you yes. left friends, and really what you had was Rick. I mean, he I was did. he became family, yes? He was my emotional support system. He was everything. Anything that I needed, even if it was just to have somebody sound uh, idea off of. Mm -hmm. It was nice to have him there and he was my sounding board. Um, when my husband was going through his medical retirement, I really didn't have a way of venting because I couldn't be there for his retirement ceremony. So mm. it was nice to have Rick there with me and have him, when I was upset about something, he would just sit there and he would put his head in my chest and like, it's okay. 
I'm here. It's okay. Yeah. No. I'm all that matters. Aww. Yeah. Aww. They wanted to cheer you up. They know. They do. They really, yeah. They're, I mean, they're very, very smart creatures. Look at Wayne back. There goes Rick. Aww. He got a little too comfortable. He is adorable. He, he, he fell off the couch. <laughs> like you said, still getting used to that couch. Not really sure what it is. But Marissa, I, I know this this relationship between Amanda and Rick is so beautiful, but it's not so unique. People get attached to their working dogs very much like this situation. Yeah, I mean, you can see just the two of them together. And, you know, Amanda and I have talked on the phone quite a lot at this point, and she said something that really struck uh, in my head was that, you know, for for them in, in these other parts of the world, they don't have anything constant except their furry friend. Mm -hmm. And that is the only thing that they have. And then I actually, and I don't think Amanda even knows this, I spoke with the vet, Dr. Lisa Stabis, that went to South <gasps> Korea to get Rick. <laughs> and um, she said she does it. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at footage now, Amanda. It's so oh cute. Oh my God. She said she does it to fill that hole in their heart and make them whole again. Oh, so for all, all the vets out there, it's important. You know, American Humane calls you and they say, hey, listen, we want to we want to reunite you guys together. That had to immediately create a reverberation in your life of going, I can't believe this moment's going to actually happen. You know, so how is it Rick today? How is, he, how is he adapting to civilian life? He's learned how to beg for food rather quickly. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> well, uh, he's, he's getting, he's definitely not stuck to the Army diet that he was on since the Army runs our veterinary program. Uh huh. So, uh, he gets all. He is adorable. He gets all the treats that he wants. He gets to, gets to sleep in bed when I can get him up there. Yeah. <laughs> And he's wow. maybe he put on a few pounds? <laughs> no, he's oh, actually good. a very trim dog. Uh, he, <laughs> yeah. He's very energetic, so he, he maintains his, his weight range. Well, his I will, felt figure. <laughs> I, will, I will say this, that, that Fred, although he hasn't served our country, has something in common with Rick. They both enjoy something that we did in rehearsal that I found out he also likes, which is he thinks is food, but it's not. It's really... Oh, he loves his ice cubes. There you go. There you go. Eats him, thinks it's food. That's fine with us. He's adorable. <laughs> Amanda, thing. thank you so much for sharing your story. And Rick, oh, we love you. Thank you for sharing your story, too. I, oh, I suggest thank you guys. guardrails on the bed next time. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, we'll keep him from falling off. Just, you know, training wheels, small steps. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, and Larissa, thank you so course. much as well for sharing this story with us. And another big thank you to Hallmark, Hallmark Hormel Foods, and American Humane for helping with this amazing reunion. Of All right. Uh, up next, it's Mr. Matt Eisman. Well, that story was uplifting, and I'm going to tell you how to lift stuff up off the floor of your garage and the perfect place to store it.